<laughs> you are hilarious, Kitty. All right, so on this lovely Monday afternoon, probably nearing like five o'clock, we're going to soak it up. And get a little more progress done before this day ends so i'm pretty sure i think i got everything buttoned up as far as it needs to be you know i got the wiring harness and you know brake booster clutch master all slapped back in there um i'm pretty sure i got everything back on this engine i'm pretty much just gonna just go over it one last time right before i stick it in there last time it only took me about an hour to put it in there so that's the plan try to get this in there within the hour and possibly um if i'm feeling good about it uh throwing this drive shaft and the brackets back on for the transmission as well and then all i gotta do is just put the rest of the engine back together under the hood and we should be good to go Alakazam! It was as easy as that. Oh yeah. All right, we got her all back in there. Oh yeah. I got the uh, all the brackets for the transmission uh, hooked up. Uh, the bracket for the the rear to the transmission hooked up. Now I just have to put the uh, drive shaft back in. That's it. Hmm. Oh no, I gotta put a fuel filter on. Yeah, I definitely wanna change that fuel filter. Definitely. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm just kinda excited. I got it in. We're getting towards the end here. The nitty gritty, baby. The fucking nitty gritty. All right, I am back at it again. And this is take two. Because the first take, I didn't have the record button pushed in. Mother lover. All right, so anyway. Yeah, I started putting the stuff back together. I got the turbos thrown back in there. They look good. Yeah, the turbo is clear perfectly. The only thing that I'm concerned about, I guess, is the uh, air filter I bought, that big ass air filter sitting right here. That's possibly going to be hitting the wiring harness. Well, when the car's running anyway. But anywho, so yeah, my whole plan today is to, I guess, run around. I gotta get some exhaust pipe so I can start forming these uh, down pipes out. But before I form them out, I have to put a couple things back in here, like the drain lines for the turbos. I gotta just place them in here, and then I got my radiator fan assembly here that I'm placing in here. So I gotta make sure everything's gonna clear um, when I form these down pipes out. Alrighty. <laughs> what am I doing here? I don't even know. I'm holding this camera up, just facing it. Not the engine, I'm not saying anything. Alakazam. Oh yeah, only if that was that easy, right? That would have been great before. But now we had to work hard for this one. So I ended up getting that two and a half inch pipe, chopping some stuff up on the chop box, and this is what I've made so far. Cut a bunch of pieces out, I got them all taped together. I think these slices I'm cutting are just under 15 degrees or something like that. I'm not really sure exactly. But yeah, it's pretty much going on there like that. So she can come out, and we just gotta replicate this one for the other side. Oh yeah, boy! Got all my pieces cut. Nice and cut up. Got this one pretty much almost formed. Oh yeah, got the D-band tacked on there. And yeah, just about done tacking these up. And we're gonna stick them on there and check them out. Oh yeah, got the second one tacked up and ready to put on. See what these bad boys look like. Awesome, there they are. So I don't know if I'm gonna have them come straight out like that, but I was thinking like on an angle, something like that, possibly. And and then stopping probably here and then going straight down. Or maybe, I don't know, something like that. All right, it's getting pretty late. The sun is starting to set, so it's gonna wrap 
this video up for today. To the next one. All right. Yesterday we left off with uh, starting the formation of these downpipes and we got the down part formed. Now we just gotta add the pipe. All right, so the other day I said I was gonna hook up these oil drain lines and I didn't. So that's what we're doing today. Or one of the things anyway. So let's get on that. All right, getting this together. Got it set up like that. So I guess I'm gonna cut this and then yeah. Should slide in right there. I'm hoping that's good enough. Should be right. Yeah, looks like it's all going downhill to me. And then I gotta set up the other side too. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm only gonna need this one hose. I'm not gonna have to use the other one from the other kit. And the same thing with these uh, feed lines, um, cause I have to get new ends put on here anyway. So I'm hoping I only have to use one of these hoses and then hey, I'll have extra parts for another build. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, finally got them oil drain tubes hooked up and they're looking good. I like them. They remind me of lobster tails. What about you? They look like a lobster tail to you? Am I crazy? So I'm gonna start calling these things. All right, well, I got my lobster tails all mocked up. Now we gotta get the, the downpipe hooked up to the lobster tail. So I'm about to shove that radiator back in here. So I bought this weather stripping for actually the AC delete panel over there, but I didn't like you know how thick this was. But I think it's gonna work out perfect. I'm gonna cut little pieces out and I'm gonna put them on the inside of here where the radiator is gonna be sitting. This way it has a little cushion to push against. So I'm gonna do that to the four corners on each side of the top and the bottom. Got the radiator back in with the fan assembly. Alright, so. Yeah, here's the radiator hose here. Like I said, there's the the outlet down there. So yeah, I gotta get a hose with a bend in it. And then somewhere in between the straight part right there, uh, get it to go from whatever size this hose is to one and three quarter with a bend to hook onto there. But uh, I'm hoping that's the way it works out. I really do. So everything's gonna, should clear good through there. Gonna cock them up like that, have them come, and then blast straight down right there. And hmm, yeah, I might even put my wideband sensors right here um, before it goes down. That'd be cool. I think they said uh, at least six inches away from the turbo, so yeah, that should be six inches if I put them right here. And then I can wire them up through here and have them run up in there and through the hole where these wires go. That's the plan. That is the plan. Look at that. While I was under here, just checking shit out, I noticed uh, I missed a little bit of a weld there. So that looks like it could be a potential leaker. I threw the original uh, overflow in for the radiator and yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. I'm gonna have to get me custom one oh, seems to be sticking down here and that's right where my intercooler piping I mocked up is going so yeah I'm not going to redo my intercooler piping over this we're just gonna ditch this original one and yeah get us a aftermarket one all right never mind this is why I shouldn't say things this is why I check that actually intercooler piping seems to be just clearing if anything it'll just be touching it but it should work so awesome I don't have to get a custom overflow or reservoir whatever you want to call it cool oh geez hours I say hours later and I'm still working on these stupid fucking uh, lobster tails with these downpipes Jeez. I'm getting there. I figured it out. I got a bolt sitting like this, and then they're both gonna drop straight down from there. Bada bing, bada boom. We already got the, uh, there's the drop down. So we got one made up. Just gotta make the other one up and then tack them all together. And then pretty much, I'm just gonna stop there. 
Yeah, because uh, from that point, I'm going to be, I'm going to run it, yeah, probably straight back. Really haven't decided. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go the cheapest route I can right now. I'm just going to have enough pipe here. I'm going to run both sides just to the uh, back side of the front wheels and then just have them yeah, dipping out the sides. All right, there's my down pipe. One of them anyway. Got the other one on here already. Sitting on that jack stand down there. All right. There's the loft tails formed into the down pipe. That's it. And then, yeah, I'm gonna shoot them back somehow or another. Just like that. It's good enough. Good enough. I like it. Woo! Yeah, all day just to do those. Well, no, actually, I mean, I put all the shit back in here too. You know, the radiator, the span, the wiring harness, I got all spread out the way it's supposed to be, pretty much. Uh, yeah. The oil um, return lines, you know. Got them all measured and cut up, so those are all good. Yeah, pretty much good to go. It's gotta um, finish welding up the uh, turbo manifolds and the down pipes now. Oh, yeah, and we gotta do that proportioning valve. Keep forgetting about that. And yeah, a couple little things, but whatever. Almost done. Most. I'm going for coolest um, 3800 Camaro twin turbo. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, I am so happy. I'm got this far now. This is awesome. Got these down pipes finished. Um, yeah, this is great. What sucks is uh, I don't know where to start a video or to stop one, end one, start one. Don't know anymore. This might be the end of one, or this could be the middle of one. I have no damn clue. Oh, here lately I've just been shooting and shooting and shooting and just offloading on the computer, piling it up. I don't even know anymore. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Sure. Alright, well, that's it for today anyway. I don't know about this video, but it's definitely it for today. So, for tomorrow or the next one. I guess we'll find out. Are you Later.